what is going on everybody i hope everybody is having a wonderful day and welcome back to the farm here at hidden heights my name is kevin and uh we are out at the blackstone griddle right now i just got done mowing the sun's starting to go down but it's still super hot and uh it's dinner time so uh we got some uh, farm fresh bacon and we got farm fresh juicy ripe tomatoes and uh, we'll take a walk out to the garden here in a minute and then we'll go check on the animals here in a little bit after we eat dinner but first we're gonna fry up some of this bacon on this blackstone guys if you guys like cooking and you like cooking outdoors of course everybody's got their uh conventional propane grill or your charcoal grill but man to really cook stuff i always go to this blackstone griddle and no this is not an advertisement video by no means this thing is just easy it's easy to clean up it cooks very quick it's very uh consistent on how it cooks you can cook your whole breakfast at one time you can cook a whole dinner at one time uh, we got the four burner model here the only thing i wish i would have uh got which they didn't have them out when i got this one was uh, they got the models now that have the cover that pulls over and it's metal too because the only thing is sometimes the, the wind blows the rain in under this overhang and it kind of gets on the uh, cover and it settles and it kind of drips but that's the only complaint i really got so anyways um yeah let me get this cooked up and then uh we'll eat dinner and then we'll go check out some of the animals and uh talk about some other things All right, guys, I don't know about you all, but we like our uh, bacon extra crispy on these tomato sandwiches. And I've already got the tomato nice and cool and sliced up in the house. So uh, let's go try this out. All right, guys, so we got our bacon fried up. We got our uh, cold tomatoes that was in the refrigerator. And now we got some Duke's mayonnaise. There's no better way to make these. You want to put quite a bit of mayonnaise on here and that's just the way I like it. And you gotta have plenty of mayonnaise and a nice cold slab of tomato and plenty of crispy crispy bacon. And sometimes I put salt on there but this bacon's a little salty and I just pile it on there. The more the better right? And why not another tomato on this side? There you go. Hmm. Perfect. Wow, those were awesome sandwiches, guys. You guys know how good... Uh, fresh tomatoes out of the garden add some uh, farm raised bacon it does not get any better than that and i do add my favorite is white bread with the duke's mayonnaise plenty of tomato and the crispy bacon i gotta show you guys skeeter come here skeet come here hey come here show everybody your haircut hey come here don't do that yet show everybody your fresh haircut come here let me see turn around a little bit let me see your haircut all right <laughs> Skeeter got to go to the groomer today, and uh, he's feeling mighty fresh. And we got a basket of goodies we're going to take down to the feeder pigs. Look at here, a bunch of cucumbers. So, I have three gallon jars. I don't know if I got it on the video when I was trying out the uh, bacon tomato sandwich. But, I got three gallon jars of fermented pickles made out of a bunch of these cucumbers and uh some of these i put in the fridge 
and I kind of forgot about them. So uh, we're going to take them out to the pigs because they got a little soft. And uh, like I said before, nothing out of the garden goes to waste. We either feed the goats, the chickens, or of course the pigs will eat just about anything. And um, we'll talk about uh, some of the farm updates we got coming. You guys seen the last video where I got the uh, backhoe bucket put on. And uh, we're going to start digging water lines. And I got pretty much the path mode, and I'll kind of show you guys that. So you guys can kind of understand what I'm trying to do. And then tomorrow, hopefully as soon as I get off work, I'm going to head over to the uh, local supply store and pick up a bunch of the fittings and all the uh, poly pipe. And maybe tomorrow evening, um, if I get back in time, hopefully I can start uh, digging some of the trench out here towards the barn and maybe even to the feeder pen. Just depends on how, how it goes, you know, if it's super rocky and all that and there is a chance of rain tomorrow too. And if it's gonna storm or anything in the evening time, I don't wanna get started digging, uh, like I said before, because then all the good dirt and everything will wash down in the trench. And I also need to uh, take the dump truck down to the gravel pits down the road here and uh, get a load of like pea gravel or something. Because anywhere that it's really, really rocky or anywhere that we uh, drive over with any of the heavy equipment like the tractors or dump truck or anything, we want to uh, pour some gravel in the ditch and then lay your pipe down and then uh, pour some more gravel on top of it. And what that does, it kind of protects the pipe. So we are out here in the feeder pen. And I'm not seeing anybody but one Berkshire laying on the pond dike. Jabba, come on. Come on guys, I got some snacks. All right, let's see if I can't find these guys. Come on, guys. Come on. Here, pick, 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 pick. There, pick, 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 pick. Of course, they're laying way over there against the fence. I'll just come back and get the camera. I'm sure their bellies are full. You can see how shady it is out here, but the sun's going down, so that helps out a lot. Chewy, are you the watch pig? You guys see them all over there laying against the fence? All right, guys, I'm not coming in the weeds. Come over here. Come on. Here, pick, pick, pick. Come on, pick, 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 pick. Jabba. Cucumber grenades. See if I can get one to bust by them. Come here, Butterball. All right, I guess I'll walk out there. You guys are gonna make me walk in the weeds and get chickens all over me, ain't you? I can't let my buddy Jabba not get a cucumber. Look at these weeds. Butterball. There to go. Jabba, you want somebody? You about ran Jabba over. How are you doing, bud? Huh? You want some fish? Nasty old cucumbers? Huh? Look. Java the Prince should be his name. Java, you gotta get some. You gotta get up and try, bud. Golly. Breakfast in bed. Here, Here butterball. Jabba, you are the laziest pig I have ever seen. Man. Yeah, these things are... Some of them still pretty good. Some of them's got really soft. 
Hey, come here. What'd you do? Lose it on the other side of the fence? Hey, here's another one right here, bud. Look. Don't bite my finger. Right there. Alright, I'll just dump them here for a second. There we go. Enjoy. <laughs> Look at that. Breakfast in bed, just like I said. So guys, um, you know, it is it is good to feed your pigs grain. Get them up to weight as fast as possible. But you guys know how it is, just eating the same thing over and over. It'd be like you just eating cereal every day over and over and over. And eventually you're gonna get tired of it. And when you can have some, uh, I say vittles from the garden, you know, some fresh yummy snacks right out of the garden, which these are kind of old, but still they're out of the garden, fresh here from the farm. Uh, they're not going to mind at all. They probably like them a little ripe, if you get what I'm saying. Um, you know, that's that's a treat to them. And uh, it's actually still nutritious for them. You know, they're probably not going to gain a lot of weight or muscle like you would want from just eating little stuff like this here and there. But it adds a little bit of uh, different kinds of vitamins and nutrients into their diet, which is always a good thing. So, hey, don't get the basket. Can't eat the basket, bud. What are you doing? All your good stuff's over there. So you guys are like garbage disposals. Look at this ball. Go get it. You're gonna slash. Bring it here. Come on. Bring it here, buddy. Come on, Flash. Good boy, Skeeter. All right, guys. So I'm back. The the battery went dead or started going dead when I was down in the feeder pen, and I said. Uh, We'll come look at this path that we're going to dig with the tractor. Hopefully, I can get started on it tomorrow. It's going to be super hot, but we got to get this thing done before winter time. And uh, sometimes it can stay hot all the way till October here in Oklahoma. So, you guys seen this in the last video. Here comes Tiny. What do you know, Tiny? Huh? She's munching down there. Alright, so we're coming here. And I went ahead and mowed... I mowed most of all the yard and I tried to mow right here. I didn't move the tractor, but we're gonna come down. What do you know, Tony? Hmm? All right, so we're coming down here and I think I showed you guys in the last video. We're just gonna go down here to the corner. I know one sock. Huh? I know, girl. There's Miss Daisy. What you doing, girl? You ready to eat? So since it's been real hot here lately, I've only been feeding the dogs late at night because they pretty much don't have an appetite when they get so hot. They just lay around in the shade all day and they don't hardly ever want to eat, but I keep going off topic here. So I'm going to put the water hydrant somewhere over here and uh, you can see the path I got mowed. Straight down to the feeder pen, feeder pig pen, straight down this way is what I'm thinking. I'll probably stay right in the middle of where I got mowed and dig the trench. And that way I can uh, get in there to work and not have to be in that tall grass or weeds and get chiggers, hopefully. Because everybody knows what it's like to have chiggers, I'm sure. If you grew up in the country or you got family in the country and they're like, hey, let's go out here in this field that's a little higher than our ankles, you probably got chiggers especially in the summertime so be careful of that you do not want chiggers so yeah guys i just want to do this quick little uh video today uh, we were cooking the bacon tomato sandwiches and i said i want to show them what they're missing out on if you guys do not grow tomatoes i don't care if you live in an apartment if you live in the city you can grow tomatoes and there is nothing in my mind in my opinion there's nothing in the world that tastes better out of the garden than a uh, freshly grown tomato straight out of your garden. And we're gonna take a walk over here into the garden and check out these tomato plants. And uh, some of them are leaning a little bit because that storm came through 
last week and kind of pushed them over. But man, I know I've said this before, probably there's not a lot of foliage, but look at the tomatoes that these things are producing. And I got giant hands and look at this. These things are just as big as my hand. I know it's probably hard to see on video, but look at this boy. This one right here is gonna make a really good sandwich. That's a big old tomato. And that one there's probably even bigger. And we cannot keep up with the cherry tomatoes. Look at all those. There is so many of these things. And I try to eat some every time I come out here. I come out here, I pick two, and they multiply. I don't know what's going on with that. If you guys like cherry tomatoes, try these sun sugars. They're so sweet, low acid, and they taste amazing. So uh, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Um, go, I gotta go feed the dogs and all that. Uh, stay tuned for the farm upgrade videos. I'm gonna try to get the material tomorrow and start digging on it and I will be videoing that. So uh, hopefully the next video, you guys will see an update on that if the storms and all that stays away. So if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, and we'll see you next time.